What's up, guys? Social Bath for One Hive Labs, bringing you another cold blooded Lalo attack done by Lego. He's got a golem in the clan castle, four hounds, 14 balloons, wizards for his funnel, and then three wall breakers just to get in the first layer of walls here. Game plan for this base is to drop his golem here. This base is also very easy to get a funnel. Drops a couple wizards here to take out this army camp. A couple over here to take out these buildings. All while these point defenses are targeting this golem. So no real threat there to the wizards. Drops the queen. Wall breakers come in. And the big thing I want you to pay attention to here is how late he drops his barb king. All those troops come into this area here by the queen and this elixir storage. Drops a jump spell, ends up not needing it. CC troops are coming out, drops a lightning spell pretty much in the same spot to take care of them. His goal here is to take out this air defense as well as the enemy archer queen. And then the Lalo attack will start. Two hounds, nice spread on those here. Two balloons to each of these defenses. And then almost immediately after that happens, his next two hounds go down here. Two balloons at each of these defenses as well. And what happens is, is once these are all taken out, the balloons from the south east side of the base have nowhere else to go except to push into the core to take out the mortar and the expo. Everything pushes around in a clockwise fashion. The other thing I want you to pay attention to is he saves four balloons. That's pretty typical with these attacks for us is to save two to four balloons for some of these backside defenses here. So... That's the game plan, and we'll take a look at the replay now. Alright, so here he goes with the attack. Golem goes down. Wizards on the outside there to start creating the funnel. Queen backs up the golem. And like I said before, big thing to pay attention to here. Watch how late he drops the Barb King. Well after a lot of these defenses are down, and the reason he does that is so that the Barb King doesn't run up and get destroyed by the enemy clan castle troops, especially with that balloon coming out there. Lightning spell to take them out. Queen easily takes out the balloon. Rages the king. Ends up not needing the jump spell. I mean, the king jumps over there and gets that air defense, but um, queen came out over that wall, so. He's pretty much already accomplished his main goal. One air defense. Get the king, uh, enemy queen down and kill the clan castle troops here. Anything else is pretty much a bonus. He gets that expo, which is another big defense to get taken out. Going to start the Alalo portion of his attack now. Hounds go down. Good spread on those to absorb any air mines. You can see he absorbs a ton of air mines there. A couple balloons on each defense, and then right away starts the second portion of the Lalo, where the next two hounds go down, and what that... Uh, does is it forces the balloons on the right side there to push into the core just like that and the other balloons will start working around the outside now he still has four balloons in the bag like I said that's pretty common for us to save two to four balloons you can see there's still two archer towers up there as well as a Tesla that can target his air troops but at this point drops the last rage and Drops it up there because if he dropped it lower, those last two hounds wouldn't have popped. And you can see how many pups he has left for cleanup. And at this point, it's game over. It's just that one Tesla left. Plenty of pups and plenty of time to finish this base up. So, nice attack, Lego. Three-star, cold-blooded Laloon attack. If you like this video, hit the little thumbs up button. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and remember to check out the links in the description below. See you guys later.